Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up your Nintendo Switch to your DVI port on your monitor. So let's say you want to hook up your Nintendo Switch to your computer monitor but you've only got a couple of ports to choose from. It might well be a VGA or a DVI. Always go for the DVI because it is actually a digital signal and it's a little bit better than the VGA. Now, in the pack when you buy your Nintendo Switch you will get a HDMI cable but your monitor might not have a HDMI port on it, hence the reason you want to connect it up to DVI. Now on the back of the dock you've only got HDMI out, but it's not a problem because there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can either buy yourself a lead similar to this one here, which is a HDMI one end and a DVI the other end, or you can use your original Nintendo HDMI lead, but get yourself one of these little adapters. These adapters are really cheap. You get them for a few pounds from eBay and Amazon so a few dollars as well and it will have a female HDMI this side and a male DVI that side and then what you would do is you would plug that in there and then you would plug this part into the back of your Nintendo Switch and you would plug this one into the back of the monitor now in this video I'm just going to use the HDMI to DVI lead now unfortunately you won't be able to use your DVI cable because with these cables here, you would need to use one of these adapters, and this is a female DVI to a male HDMI. The problem is, this won't fit in the back of the Nintendo Switch dock. So if you have a look, in the back here, there's not enough room to get that in because they're quite wide, because the DVI plug is bigger than the HDMI. It won't fit in there. Can you see that it doesn't allow you to get it in there? So if you were adamant that you did want to use your DVI lead, what you would have to do is you would have to fit one of these and then you would have to get yourself a HDMI coupler and then run the HDMI lead from here into the back of the switch. The problem with that is you're starting to get a lot of connectors on this now. So that's why it is just best to use either your HDMI cable with that adapter and plug that adapter into your monitor or I think the best way is just to get yourself a lead so you're not going through multiple connections right so all you have to do is nice and straightforward you just plug it into the back of this Nintendo dock like that and then if you plug the other end into the back of the monitor so as you can see here I've got a VGA here and a DVI can do up the little thumb screws okay and there we have it up on screen now the problem that you're going to notice is although you've got a perfect picture a nice 1080p picture we haven't got any sound because the DVI is not pushing through any sound even though this monitor does have speakers built into it there is speakers on this monitor here and here it's not actually outputting any sound not really so much of an issue because what we can do is we've got the headphone jack here so all we've got to do is get yourself a little speaker so you can either get yourself some proper PC speakers you know stereo speakers left and right or I'm just using a little Bluetooth speaker here and then I'm just plugging in a 3.5 millimeter cable into it and then I'm just going to use the headphone jack and you see when I plug that in there you will see that the headphone jack will come up on the top there and if I was to lower it down here you will see that it moves down and if I was to put the volume up you'll see it moves up and obviously you've got volume on your actual speakers as well and now you will be able to hear it yeah and on monitors you get a nice 
clear picture with a good refresh rate. Now let's say if you didn't have this little speaker but you do have your gaming headset for, for example from your Xbox or your PlayStation then what you can do is, this is a wired one, you can just plug your wired one in there and then you can use your gaming headset and you'll be able to control the volume from your headset again. Hopefully you can just hear that. Now if you are having problems, make sure you're on the correct input because if you've got more than one input, if you've got a VGA and a DVI, it might not automatically find the DVI, so you might have to manually put it to it. So normally you will have buttons somewhere on your monitor that will allow you to do this one. So on this one it's hidden underneath here, and if you have a look there it says input. If I go to that one there, I can then move it up and down between the different inputs. So you can have it on auto, HDMI, DVI, VGA, leave it on DVI and then if you find that the picture is really bad obviously now this monitor has got HDMI I'm only doing this for the video this setup would be best to use HDMI because then you're going to get picture and sound through the one cable rather than having to do a separate setup for sound right now if you find that the resolution is really bad you can change the resolution by going to system settings and pressing A and then if you go down to TV output now it will probably already be on automatic if it's not on automatic let's say if it was on 480p then what you would want to do is you want to change that to 1080p or whatever it can handle you might see that it will say there 720p so depending on what it can handle put it to the best picture that you can Right, I hope you found that video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out. Take care. Bye now.